Bitcoin has broken through 30K, Caspa is preparing to skyrocket, and a spot Bitcoin ETF could be approved in just one month on November 21st. How is Bitcoin affecting Caspa? Why do we have very little time left to get in on the cheap? And what bullish events have taken place in the last three days? Let's find out now. Bitcoin is approaching 30,000 while making this video. The bull market is very close and it is important not to miss the moment. Bitcoin dynamics affect the Casper rate and in this video you will learn how and why. So let's start with the latest updates on BTC. The good news started on Monday when Cointelegraph published a fake news. Supposedly a spot Bitcoin ETF was finally approved. This triggered a 7% spike in BTC and then an immediate drop of the same 7% when it became clear that the news was fake. Nothing seemed to change. The price stayed the same, but traders lost over $100 million in liquidations in five minutes. The market punished the bears first and then the bulls. The manipulator likes to do this before a strong move and leave most of the players out. However, despite the spot ETF fake out, the market continued to rise quite steadily and there are some very good reasons for this. Looking ahead, the market is on the cusp of a very strong move. Why and in which direction will be discussed in more detail in a moment. In the meantime, subscribe to CoinPost so you don't miss out on the next bull market. One of the key charts indicating an impending bull market is the GBTC discount chart. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust allows investors to access Bitcoin through a traditional investment vehicle. This is essentially the Trojan horse that Bitcoin is being promoted on the stock market. That's understandable. But what's the reward? The GBTC discount is a difference between the net value of a stock and its actual price. Now the discount is 13%, which means that one share of GBTC is 13% cheaper than its real value backed by Bitcoin. At the beginning of the year, the discount was 40%, and people were panicking because GBTC holders were losing not only on the fall of Bitcoin, but also on the devaluation of the stock against Bitcoin. However, their dynamics should be the same. Where does the discount come from? The fact is that GBT shares are not convertible into Bitcoin. Grayscale has been seeking permission from the SEC for over a year to convert its fund into a spot Bitcoin ETF. On October 19th, Grayscale filed another application with the SEC, and judging by the fact that the discount is narrowing by the day, the likelihood of this application being approved is growing. You know what's interesting about this story? The SEC doesn't really have a lot of options. The court is requiring the SEC to justify its refusal to convert GBTC to an ETF and Gensler and his team are at an impasse. This is certainly positive news for us. Analysts at JP Morgan are predicting approval of a spot ETF in the coming months. Most likely, a spot Bitcoin ETF could be approved before January 10th. I tend to trust individuals from big banks as they may have inside information that ordinary people don't have. In addition, the SEC has set the next deadline of November 21st, which is exactly one month from now. I doubt that the ETF will be approved in a month, but the pressure on Gensler will increase, which could speed up the approval of the application. Also yesterday, BlackRock, the company that started the Bitcoin ETF race, filed an amended application for a Bitcoin ETF. In it, the fund acknowledged the competition in the chase to launch a Bitcoin ETF and clarified the pricing model and reporting mechanism. What it says, there is an active dialogue between the SEC and BlackRock regarding ETF approval. I assume the former has received feedback from the SEC and submitted an updated application. Everything points to the fact that sooner or later we will get a spot Bitcoin ETF and then pray that you have as much Bitcoin and other altcoins as possible because the price will skyrocket faster than you can read the news. As promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now break down how Bitcoin will affect Caspa and what to expect in the near future. At the end, you will find out why we have almost no time left to buy coins on the cheap. Bitcoin's dominance has reached its highest level since April 2021. Bitcoin is soaking up all the money that comes into the market and is therefore growing faster than many altcoins. Then those who make money from Bitcoin's growth will start to put their profits into other altcoins. And Caspa looks like the most attractive investment vehicle here. Let's take a look at three reasons why investors will pay attention to Caspa. First, all cast coins have been mined fairly, without tokenization or team printing. The SEC can't charge Caspa with selling unregistered securities because no one sold the coin. It was mined just like Bitcoin. Investors will be looking for a coin that is not at risk from the SEC. Caspa is just such an option. On top of that, the capitalization of the project is only $1 billion. Compared to Bitcoin Cash, which is also based on proof of work, Caspa is almost five times cheaper. Undervalued assets always attract fresh capital. Second, Caspa is getting more secure by the day. 
At the time of making this video, Caspa's hash rate is at an all-time high. This means that more and more people are starting to mine Caspa, creating a decentralized network of miners that will be harder to break. I would even say impossible to hack. Third, the number of Cas tokens is limited to 28 billion coins, of which 21 billion are already in the market. No new coins will be printed. The last Caspa will be mined in 14 to 15 years. After that, the coin will have zero inflation, which is positive for growth. Now let's look at the Caspa chart. The daily chart clearly shows an upward trend. Despite the bear market, the Caspa is still in a bullish trend. The price is now close to the psychological resistance zone of 5 cents. Every day the price is approaching and testing this zone. This behavior says only one thing. Very soon the upper limit may be broken and the Caspa will go into price discovery. This is why I said at the beginning of the video that there is very little time left to buy major altcoins. Take a look at the Caspa Bitcoin chart. A few weeks ago, I drew a flag here and suggested it would soon break to the upside. This has not happened yet, but the price is confidently forming a bullish pattern. It is quite possible that Caspa will still fall against Bitcoin, and only then will the growth begin. This is the normal behavior of altcoins before the bull market. So don't panic and stick to your plan. In this video, I have often mentioned the bull market because I believe it is coming soon. And now I want to back up my words with facts. Gary Gensler, the chief enemy of cryptocurrencies, fell face first into a puddle once again. The SEC said it would dismiss its lawsuit against Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson over whether they are liable for their involvement in illegal security sales. The SEC made a serious mistake by going after Brad and Chris personally, and now they've capitulated by dismissing all charges against our executives. This is not a settlement. This is a capitulation by the SEC, tweeted Ripple's chief legal officer. This is Ripple's third victory over the regulator in the last six months. This is certainly positive for XRP and the crypto market as a whole. The good news doesn't stop there. What do you think is driving the growth of cryptocurrencies? Stablecoins. Stablecoins are what Bitcoin and other currencies are bought with. The more stablecoins in the market, the more money there is. Today, Tether printed another 1 billion USDT. In total, Tether has a capitalization of $84 billion. This is an all-time high, and I'm sure the company will continue to print USDT. In fact, starting next year, Tether will show its reserves in real time. The only question that remains is, what's the problem with doing it now? Or don't they have reserves? A question worth asking. Binance is not standing aside and has also printed about 4 million TUSD stablecoins. By the way, Bitcoin's rise in the past also coincided with the issuance of stablecoins. So the 30k stampede is just the beginning. Also, Binance has finally found a partner to process payments in euros and therefore has switched back to deposits and withdrawals in euros. This is a positive signal because now the exchange itself can pump money into the market through this gateway. Guys, all signs point to an imminent bull market. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. It motivates me a lot. Thanks for watching. Your Coin Post.